Welcome back to Golden Acres. I'm Kim and today I will be using my wood oven for the first time. So if you don't know, this is a kitchen queen and I have a video on it that I will link down below. And I have new crates that I bought on Amazon. It's honestly probably not the best, but it worked for small and light things like breads and cookies, which is what we're going to do today. So the recipe I'm using today is a household recipe that most of you know, Nestle Toll House. The recipe on the back of the bag, we don't use the Toll House um, chocolate chips usually. My kids prefer M&M's. And I will be baking one set in the wood oven and then one set in the conventional oven. And then we will go from there. Uh, there'll be a taste test. My husband, I will get on the video tonight and see what he thinks and see if he can guess which one is which. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna get those on some baking sheets and get them in the ovens. All right, so the big pan will go into the conventional oven and the small pan will go into the wood oven. These are from the same pack. They are the same thickness, slightly different sizes. Of course, the two different ovens are different sizes. This one's slightly bigger on the conventional because of course it doesn't have a firebox right next to it that you have to manage also. So these were cookie dough that I made yesterday. I popped them in the fridge to chill. Not everyone does that. So these are chilled cookie dough balls that I made yesterday. And I will put them in in just a second. That's almost all the way preheated. And over here, this is a little bit harder to see. We need to figure out if we can pull this cover off. That's sitting about 375, I would say. Maybe a little over. I have closed, there's a little flap on the inside of the firebox. I have closed that and I hope when I open it and let some heat out of the oven that that will come back down to 350. Of course, I'm still learning how to manage this. Also, cookies are fairly forgiving. Part of the reason this is the first one that I'm doing I think the cookies will turn out either way with the temperature that it's at now or if I can get it down to the temperature that I normally put cookies at which is 350. So I'm gonna pop them in and see how it goes. I set a timer for 10 minutes and then we'll check on the cookies and if they need more time we'll give them a minute by minute basis checking on at least the ones in the wood stove. Of course I know how my conventional stove, about how long it takes. Yes, my oven sings to me. So the ones in the back are getting a little bit more done than the ones in the front, typical. Um, so I'll flip this and then we will go check on the others. All right, over here, I would say we got it to a firm 375. So these might already be done. And yes, they are definitely done. They look good though. They have a slightly different texture than the other ones too. All right, big difference. We saw a warm spot in the conventional oven. This one had a very much warmer spot, but of course, because it wasn't overhead and it was to one side, 
that affected it quite a bit more. So those I will keep to the side so Andrew can't guess. But they, I mean, they look good. Even the ones that are a little dark on the one side. If you like a crispy cookie, those are your going to be your favorite spot. I should have turned it halfway through. I did leave the oven shut and I didn't open them to affect the temperature. So the wood oven is going to need more turning for future projects. All right. The line with four is the wood oven. No, excuse me. The line with four is the conventional oven. And the line with three is the wood oven. There's some differences. I mean, I like a lighter cookie anyway. So I went ahead and pulled these out. I could have got them the same shade, but there's not much. There's not much difference. It would be hard to tell. It would be a big guess because you could go either way. You didn't get the oven hot enough or you got the oven a little bit hotter. So we'll see. I'm going to give Andrew different chances to evaluate. The first will be look. What, what does he think about the look of the cookies and see if he can tell. And the second by the taste. I am going to go ahead and taste them now and see if I notice a difference and then he will be our blind taste tester. Alrighty. So I have my two cookies. This one's from the wood oven. A little bit darker, about the same color though. So they're not that much different. Let's see if I can get it to focus better. There we go. So there's the wood oven right next to the conventional oven. When you turn around, you see the backs. The backs are much more similar, or bottoms, depending on what you want to call it. They're both chewy, which I like a chewy cookie. Let's see, conventional first. It's a nice chewy cookie. It's similar to what I make anyway, because that's what I always make. Also chewy. Tears apart about the same. There's only one difference. The wood oven makes a crispier little crust to the cookie. And honestly, that could just because it got a little bit darker with a slightly different temperature and not because it's wood versus conventional. Um, so let me try the slightly darker side. Let's see if that's even a little bit more different from the slightly lighter side because this had a definite gradient across it. I mean, similar. It's a little bit darker, so it has a little bit more of a crust. And once again, I think that's just because it baked at 375 rather than 350 because that's where I got the oven to regulate to. It's not bad for first attempt. They're good cookies. They're very comparable. Andrew's going to have a tough time figuring it out. It'll be interesting to get his perspective next. It'll be a couple hours. So the cookies will be have completely cooled and if the wood oven cookies are going to get harder we will know by then because I'm eating them fairly fresh. They're cooled down but they're still very very fresh. So you know when you get a, a room temperature completely cooled cookie sometimes a chewy cookie will turn into a nice crispy cookie if you like a crispy cookie. So we'll see when he gets home. So update on the cookies because Andrew's car ended up having a wheel bearing go out so getting him on video was just not a thing that was going to happen but I told him I was like hey I made cookies some in the oven and some in the wood oven 
and he's like okay whatever and like ran off to go look at his car and then came back in later and after supper like grabbed a cookie he grabbed he's like I assumed the darker ones were out of the wood oven and he's like I wanted to try those so I grabbed that one first and I was like babe I wanted you to do that on video and try them and he's like oops he's like but they were really good he's like so then he tried the other once again without stopping to like go on video and he was like yeah there's no difference he's like they taste the same this one's just a little bit a darker color and then of course he ran back out to finish replacing the wheel bearing in his car that he needs to get to work and I was <laughs> you know that like I'm slightly frustrated but I totally understand what's going on dear man and then spent the rest of the weekend trimming this tree which needs to just straight up come down that will be on an upcoming video because it's right close to the house what we call the garden shed slash garage and then the hay barn so that one's gonna be interesting we're gonna have to tether it to fall the way we want it to he also thinks he's they're gonna get a, a jack to jack the tree in the right direction <sighs> taking down trees is a pain but that's coming up not sure how quickly but that's coming up and then we also have to finish getting the greenhouse ready we can start seeds as soon as like two weeks from now so things are coming up fast and spring will be here before we know it so if you like what we're doing here hit that button if you want to subscribe and follow along hit the subscribe button and if you want to help us out the best thing you can do is share us with people who you think will enjoy our content thanks for being with us god bless